Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. Today is my step 2 of building the demonstration system. That is the whole system for the 120-240 split single phase residential system from the transformer to the meter to your main panel, your sub panel and all the way to your light receptacles. Subscribe and stay tuned. As you can see, I got some uh, parts and materials here. This is my uh, 40VA 120-240 split single phase power system, which I built in my uh, step 1 of this episode. Uh, here are some uh, materials. And this is the meter with the disconnect, and that is just a meter. And I have uh, some uh, tech cable and some uh, underground cable. I also have some uh, PVC conduit and some connectors. As you can see from this uh, picture, this is a typical underground power system in North America. So this is the transformer. The high side is 600 volt, and the low side, this winding is 120 and 240, split single phase. You can see the center type here. And we uh, jump it to the ground, so we have a zero volt here. Red and black, they are 240 between each other. But between the red to the center type, or the black to the center type, is only 120. And normally, we use the USEB uh, power cord and the ground. It goes above the ground, normally we run a piece of uh, PVC conduit. It depends on your location. You may need an expansion joint here because of a temperature change. Then uh, those three uh, conductors go inside of your meter box. This meter box in Canada need to be wherever between like 1.5 meters to 1.8 meters above the ground, so the utility employee can check the the meters and from the meter to your main panel you can run either armor cable i mean acwu or tech cable or you can run conduit and pull con conductors inside of it you can use emt or you can use pvc but you can see from the transformer you have only three conductors but from the meter to your main panel, you have four conductors here. You have one actual neutral. Actually, when you use the USEB, the utility company used the bare copper ground as the neutral. So basically, you connect your neutral from your panel to their ground. Then use your own ground to bond the meter box. Now, I have two meter base side by side. On the left, this is the 100 amp meter base with the disconnect. On the right, it's just a simple meter base. You also notice that on the left, the meter base, the neutral bar, is connected to the base itself. But on the right hand side, they have an isolated neutral bar. In Canada, after 2018, the meter base need to have a isolated neutral bar. Most of the time, we use just a simple meter base. But sometimes, we might need to use this uh, meter base with the disconnect. So first, give you the flexibility so you can disconnect the power from the utility anytime. You don't have to call the utility company to disconnect your power. And secondly, if you run your service cable inside of your house over 10 feet, you either have to have a meter base with the disconnect or you have to have a rigid steel conduit to run the service conductor inside of the conduit. Most of the time, install a meter base with the disconnect is cheaper than doing a rigid conduit. Uh, let's measure the height where the meter gonna be.
Then we secure the meter box on the wall. This is a dual function meter box. You can put the rigid conduit on the top to do your service mast for overhead service. Or you can run the conduit from the bottom to do the underground service. And today we're gonna use the bottom knockout to do the service entrance because we want to do the underground service as our demonstration system. There are two knockout sites here uh, underneath. We use the one inch knockout. Take a closer look. Now you can see the two one inch knockouts ready. Uh, let's do our underground service entrance conduit first. We use PVC here. You can see this is one inch. PVC conduit. This is the male connector, uh, the lock nut, and plastic bushing. And here, I'm gonna use the NMWU underground cable to simulate the USEB underground cable. It's not the same, but you get the point. We first drill a half inch hole on this uh, 10 by 10 junction box, which is our transformer. After I got the hole, I'm uh, gonna use the tech connector to put it on the 10 by 10 PVC box. The reason why I can use the two screw connector because the plastic is so thick and this connector won't work. Now we start connecting on the transformer side. First make sure there's no power and then we're gonna terminate those uh, three conductors. We use the red and black as the red black of the USEB. And we use this uh, white wire to simulate the bare copper. Please check back my step one of this episode. How I uh, finished this uh, 120, 240, three single phase power system. So basically, we're gonna terminate those three wires into this terminal block. Uh, number eight is the center type. Number seven and number ten is the black and the red, the 120, 240. Now let's move on to the meter side. And like what I said, I use this NMWU to simulate the USB cable. So we just cut this ground wire. We use the white one to simulate the bare copper. Actually, the utility company gonna use a clear shrink on top of this uh, bare copper. So you can see the color and it will be used as the neutral.
as you can see, I pull the wire all the way up to the top, then go down to the terminals to leave enough actual length. The reason why we are doing this is because this is the underground service. So in summer region, you know, when the temperature goes up and down, the cable underground got to move. If it's too short, eventually it's going to pull the terminal block out or maybe broke this part of the connector here. Another thing is about the island key holes here. You need to tie those uh, screws to their specs. If you don't have a specs, I'm going to show you guys a table. Like for certain size of the boat, what torque you need to do to make the connection. That is very important because if you have a loose connection here, you're going to have a spark here. Now, let's check if our system works or not. Fingers crossed. We first plug our cord to the power. All good. We don't hear anything. Then take our multimeter out to uh, AC voltage. Now we check the voltage between the red and black. 238.8 between the red and neutral 120.2 from the black to the neutral 118.5 perfect now you can see our whole system in one picture on the left it's our power system, which represents the transformer from a utility. And in between is the UICB underground cable. And on the right hand side is our meter box. And right in the center is how the system works.